are an entrepreneur. You work an 80-hour week to avoid working a 40-hour week. It's almost like we were fated to be in Little India. You know, my mom and dad both worked here, my husband was here, and now I'm here. She's from a social work background, and now she's running a 400-seater restaurant. They just didn't take me seriously. A lot of the men in there just said, you know, we're not going to take direction from a woman. Like, what does a woman know? Happy All kinds of foods are here, spices are here, pan is here, dresses are here. You name it, and Gerard India Bazaar has it for you. I love living on top of the store. OK. Where's that blue fabric? Growing up on Gerard, I had like a dozen uncles and aunties watching me. If I was doing something wrong, they'd come to dad and mom and say, well, she's, she's up to something. We're not doing anything. We are refugees. We actually came to the United States and uh, made a dash for Canada. She tell me she want to go in police. If I tell my father and my family, maybe they kill me. There were moments where I got really mad and I just didn't know how to control it. I was angry way before that. That just made it explode. This is one I wanted to pull around for sure. You know, it's really As different. As an engagement piece. Engagement As an engagement piece, piece. yeah, yeah. It's the main reason I ordered it. Because it was so nicely elegant. Plus the crystals, I think they're gonna really shine on the ramp. You've seen it a lot, but my generation hasn't seen this. Men haven't You're seen this. You've been selling it for 30 years. You have been selling it for 30 years. <laughs> I think for a long time in South Asian fashion, there's been a lot of bling, there's been a lot of over-the-topness. Right now, it's one word I would say regal. I mean, don't think princess, think a queen. And I think that's what's coming into fashion right now.